What is the specific problem that the proposed method ECT aims to solve in the context of consistency models and diffusion models? The proposed method Easy Consistency Tuning, ECT, aims to solve the problem of training efficiency and scalability of consistency models, CMs, in the context of consistency models and diffusion models. Specifically, ECT addresses the time-consuming and challenging training process of CMs, which traditionally require complex hyperparameter choices and substantial training time compared to diffusion models. ECT provides a more efficient scheme for building CMs by introducing a differential consistency condition and a streamlined training recipe. It aims to decrease the training cost significantly, making CMs more accessible and reducing the computational resources required for training. ECT allows for the generation of high-quality samples in one to two model evaluations, competing with state-of-the-art diffusion models while using a fraction of the training flops. In essence, ECT aims to streamline the training process of CMs, making them more practical and efficient for generating high-quality samples in a few steps. How does the proposed method Easy Consistency Tuning, ECT, work? Illustrate step-by-step. The proposed method Easy Consistency Tuning, ECT, works by first initializing with a pre-trained diffusion model, which is a special case of consistency models, CMs, with a loose form of the consistency condition. This initialization ensures good targets in the loss objective, especially in the initial stages of training. ECT then gradually shrinks the time discretization from the largest possible delta T equals T to delta T equals DT during training, smoothly transitioning from diffusion models to consistency models. This gradual shrinking of delta T is achieved through a continuous time training schedule, that constructs training pairs of R equals zero for all T at the beginning, and uses a mapping function dependent on training iterations to control the delta T. The training objective for CMs in ECT is formulated to minimize the distance between the model outputs at different noise levels, ensuring consistency in the generated samples. Additionally, ECT utilizes a combination of regular and adaptive weighting functions to control the variance of gradients across different noise levels, aiding in improved training efficiency. Overall, ECT provides a simple and principled approach to efficiently train CMs to meet the consistency condition, resulting in high-quality sample generation in one or two sampling steps. What are the theoretical or practical benefits of using ECT compared to existing methods like diffusion distillation and improved consistency training, ICT? The theoretical and practical benefits of using easy consistency tuning, ECT, compared to existing methods like diffusion distillation and improved consistency training, ICT, are significant. The key advantage of ECT is its efficiency in training consistency models, CMs, by starting from a pre-trained diffusion model, thereby reducing the training cost substantially. ECT allows for a smooth transition from diffusion models, DMs, to CMs by gradually tightening the consistency condition during training, leading to high-quality sample generation in just one or two model steps. This streamlined training approach of ECT results in better two-step sample quality on datasets like CIFAR10 and ImageNet 64x64 compared to ICT, while using significantly fewer training flops. Additionally, ECT reduces the inference cost by a significant margin compared to pre-trained score SDEDMs while maintaining comparable generation quality. Furthermore, ECT addresses the curse of consistency issue that arises when training CMs from scratch with a loss objective that directly follows a tiny time discretization, ensuring stable and efficient training. Overall, ECT offers a principled and efficient method for training CMs, making it a valuable advancement in the field of generative modeling. How is the method validated or tested in the experiments described in the paper? The method proposed in the paper, Easy Consistency Tuning, ECT, is validated and tested in the experiments by comparing consistency models, CMs, 
trained with ECT against various state-of-the-art models, including diffusion models, diffusion models with advanced samplers, distillation methods like consistency distillation, CD, and improved consistency training, ICT. The validation is done by measuring the efficiency and scalability of ECT on two datasets, CIFAR-10 and ImageNet 64x64, using metrics such as Frechet Inception Distance, FID, and Frechet Distance under the DINOV2 model, FD underscore DINOV2. The sample quality is evaluated, and the sampling efficiency is measured using the number of function evaluations, NFEs. Additionally, the relative training costs of each method are indicated. The experiments also include a comparison of training schemes, where ECT is compared against diffusion models, diffusion models with advanced samplers, distillation methods, and ICT, showcasing the generative performance, training flops, inference cost, and efficiency of the different training approaches. The results of the experiments demonstrate the effectiveness of ECT in improving the efficiency and performance of CMs, showcasing its ability to generate high-quality samples in one or two model steps while reducing training costs and computational resources compared to existing methods. What results were achieved with Easy Consistency Tuning, ECT, on CIFAR-10 and ImageNet 64x64 datasets, compared to the -the state-of-the-art methods like ICT and diffusion distillation? Easy Consistency Tuning, ECT, achieved better two-step sample quality on CIFAR-10 and ImageNet 64x64 datasets compared to the -the state-of-the-art methods like ICT and diffusion distillation. Specifically, ECT outperformed ICT by requiring only one quarter of the training time of ICT. Additionally, ECT significantly reduced the inference cost by one one one-thousandth compared to pre-trained score SDEDMs while maintaining comparable generation quality. On CIFAR-10, ECT surpassed consistency distillation, CD, with a fit of 2. 20 compared to CD's 2. 93, while using around one-third of the training fine-tuning compute of CD. Furthermore, ECT achieved better two-step generation performance than state-of-the-art consistency models, CMs, while utilizing a modest training budget of 12. 8 million training images, representing only 0.39% of the ICT training budget, and 0.60% to 1. 91% of the EDM2 pre-training budget, depending on the model sizes. Overall, ECT demonstrated superior efficiency and scalability in generating high-quality samples in one or two model steps on these datasets compared to ICT and diffusion distillation methods. What are the limitations of the ECT method as discussed in the paper? One of the major limitations of the ECT method as discussed in the paper is that it requires a dataset to tune diffusion models DMs to consistency models CMs, while recent works have developed data-free approaches for diffusion distillation. The distinction between ECT and data-free methods is that ECT learns the consistency condition on a given data set via the self-teacher, while data-free diffusion distillations acquire knowledge from a frozen diffusion teacher. This feature of ECT can be a potential limitation since the training data of some models are unavailable to the public. However, the paper holds an optimistic view on tuning CMs using datasets different from pre-training, suggesting that the data composition and scaling for consistency tuning will be a valuable research direction.